up guys and girls this is Glenn here once again with another rope rage video in this video we're gonna be looking at that insane one-handed side swing technique which I call the sword swing um, which we looked at in a previous video. There was an awesome response to that video. A lot of questions asked about some of the transitions, um, the technique to execute it right. It's been awesome to see some of you guys smashing it. I've seen the likes of JJ, big shout out to you on Instagram. This guy's training every day. I've seen Patu jump rope from um, France. He's also doing this technique quite a bit. Big shout out to you guys. It's awesome to see this. So this is going to be a part two and we're going to look at it in a bit more depth. In this video I really want you to go through the technique again, look at some do's and don'ts and hopefully just perfect all our sword swings. So let's talk this technique through. In this video we're going to look at the sword swing in front of the body and the sword swing behind the body. I think they're two pretty cool techniques and it will be good to break them down. We'll go in more depth into the sword swing in front of the body and then look at the sword swing behind the body just as a bonus at the end. There are a few steps that I'm seeing that people are missing out and I think this will be really helpful because there are certain aspects of the technique that aren't immediately obvious, right? So if you're not aware of them, you're not going to do them when you're training. Two major things. First is the transition or transmission of energy through the rope when you're doing the sword swing. So rather than just swinging the rope left and right and sort of turning your wrist over, there's a lot more to it than that. If you take a look here and I zoom in right in on the wrist, you will see that at the beginning of the transition from right to left, my wrist turns. So that means the flip of the wrist doesn't happen as you're transitioning through, it happens on the right side. So your wrist is flipped on this side and from there you're going to drag the rope across the body, okay? You're going to drag it across the body until you get to the left side, then you're going to flip the wrist open again and drag it open. So if you kind of envision a wave and you've got the force of the wave starting here and going through. Okay, that wave is not the best wave, but I'm working on it actively. There we go, so it's getting better. So you start here, right? This energy that you've got, this potential energy that you've built here, when it comes down, that's gonna go all the way through and come out the other side, okay? So in the same way, you're gonna start with your potential energy on your right side, get that wrist turned, then you're gonna drag it until you get to the opposite side, then turn and drag that back, okay? So the, the energy originates, funnily enough, from the opposite side that it manifests. So the energy that's gonna come out on the swing on this side starts here, you come out, flip the wrist, and then that energy here that you've used to flip the wrist is gonna come out when you swing out here. You can see that all demonstrated as I'm doing it just here. That's the first thing. The second thing, and this is the major sticking point, is the lower body. Normally I just say the footwork, but it's more than just the feet, it's the whole lower body. If you want to take your sword swings from, from gentle to a bit faster, a bit zippier, um, a bit more punchy, you really need to get your legs, your hips working in the right way. This move was originally inspired from, funnily enough, um, watching the way boxers would move 
in a boxing stance and I'm sure a few of you know that I'm quite the Bruce Lee fan. I'd see a lot of his movies and the way he'd move and try to sort of adapt some of those movements into rope techniques and see if it would work. So rather than standing front on, you need to really be side on with this technique, okay? And there's an important reason for it. It's not because it just looks cool, it's because you're using your legs more than the wrist and the arm. You're using your legs and the twisting of your hips to power this rope. Similar to the wave analogy that I spoke about before, your legs are twisting sort of in and out, in and out. If you look closely here as I'm doing it, your legs are twisting in and out. You're powering through. You can see I'm transferring energy from the back leg to the front leg. you're kind of twisting the lower half of your body like a corkscrew to transmit that energy from the ground up. It's pretty common knowledge that in sports like boxing, the power of the punch, the energy that's transmitted through these parts of the body actually originates from the lower parts of the body. Another good thing about adopting a side-on stance is that there's less obstruction for that rope to hit you. You've got that rope swinging at the right and the left side of the body. If you're square on, you've got a much higher chance of that rope hitting your legs. If you've been noticing this sword swing technique whacks your legs a lot and it's not much fun, that might be the reason why. But with a side-on stance, there's much less space for that rope to hit. You really don't want your feet facing forwards. You want them pointing to the side. You want that side on stance. So we're gonna go into the sword swing behind the body in a future video, but just quickly here, you notice it's pretty much the same movement, but you're just moving the hand behind the body rather than in front of the body. It's the same transmission of energy same flicking of the wrist but just reversed and as I say we'll go into that in greater detail in a future video. So first things first all right let's clear this up. The reason why I often refer to the sword swing as a rope rage technique and not a jump rope technique is because um, I've had it in the past where people would say you're not actually jumping you know, this isn't jump rope. You're not actually jumping, you're just swinging the rope. And so I did have to think about it for a while. Here's an idea. Don't let anyone tell you that doing a sword swing is taking a shortcut. If anyone tells you that you're taking shortcuts, the best response is to say, I'm gonna shortcut you with my sword swing. <laughs> because you can use a sword to cut someone I'm kidding don't say that we don't we don't advocate <coughs> we don't advocate violence here um, don't say that I mean it's all about just expressing yourself with the rope not being put in a box of how you're supposed to move how you're supposed to work and it is an awesome technique for mobility of the shoulder um, 
quite a head turning technique as well. It's quite attractive to look at, quite fun to do also. Bear these things in mind as you do the sword swing going forward. How is your stance? Where is your energy originating from? When are you flicking your wrist? All these timing aspects. And putting all these things together, you will, believe you me, put your sword swings on steroids. <clears throat> and we don't, we don't, we don't advocate the use of steroids. <laughs> so, that's about it. Let me know down in the comment section which aspects of this sword swing technique you're gonna work on specifically. Of course, if there are future tutorials that you wanna see, let me know down below. I promise it won't take me another month to get a tutorial video out. Um, I keep a list of all the requests and I'll address them in time. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, do hit that like button, I'd really appreciate that. It helps out the channel a lot. Tell a friend to tell a friend and hit that subscribe button, of course. I mean, I can ask you to, and you can ignore me, but I don't think anyone can ignore Ethan. Take it away. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank you. And subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yep. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you'll see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>